Hello everyone, let's set your support setting on Lychee. Not all settings may be available on Lychee Free and you could adjust it according to your own favor. And if you are interested to upgrade to Lychee Pro, kindly use the link I provide in the video description. I get a small commission with no extra cost to you, which that I could use to keep this channel alive. Now, let us set your support setting. From layout, we want to go to the prepare and then make sure it is on support. And on original setting, there will only be light, medium, heavy. Here we have mini, mini light, mini medium. These last three, I add them myself. And you could add and set your support by click this gear button. You could add them here, mini, mini light, medium. The most important button in support setting is override. Let me show you what override do. For example, I am at light. If I want to change to 0 0.6 and then enter and then switch to medium and then back to light, see it will not set. So I prepare this button here, active preset. I press 0 0.6 and then I click override, support preset. Okay. Whenever I change to medium and then back to light again, and we could set. 0 0.6 it will not change back to default or your previous setting remember whenever you input a number to your support setting always click override another example here i want to change it back to 0 0.22 0 0.22 override and here we have the size 0 0.22 fixed to this light support size now let's look at the support base first. All of my support size have the same base number. The joint cone 0 0.7 millimeters, diameter 6 millimeters, and the thickness 0 0.3. They all have the same size. And this is what the size look like. So the thickness is 0 0.3 millimeter, the diameter is 6 millimeters, and we have the Joint cone, this is the joint cone, 0 0.7 millimeters tall. And for my printer mid, all also have the same size. Light, medium, heavy, mini, mini light, all of them have the same size, 1.2 millimeter. And for the size of the support tip, the tip diameter on light is 0 0.2 millimeters. On medium, 0 0.28. On heavy, 0 0.4. On mini, 0 0.12 millimeters. Mini light and mini medium. The first one, mini medium, they are two contact support like this. Tip diameter, both the top and the bottom at 0 0.22 millimeters. And on mini medium, the top and the bottom both at 0 0.28 millimeter. And here for the size comparison, my heavy support, click outside of the model, medium support, click outside of the model, light support, click outside of the model, and then the mini support. Click outside of the model. If you don't click outside of the model, heavy support, medium it changed to medium size and then if you want to light it changed to light and you might make an error on your support size here so if you want to change the support size make sure you click outside of the model now let us set the hotkey go to file preferences and then to shortcut editor let me click default Originally, hotkey 1 to 6 is for the camera view, so I have to delete them first. And then go to the support tab. I want to switch them to number 1 to 6. I set my light support to number 1, enter, medium to number 2, heavy to number 3, 
and then mini support to number four, my mini light to number five, and my mini medium to number six. And then for bracing supports, I set them to letter Z. And then for support visibility switch, I set it to letter C. I will show you what is support visibility switch later. And then I will go to the remove. I will delete this and set it to letter X. So all the buttons within close proximity and I can work fast doing manual support. And this is what the switch visibility looks like. I press the letter C, I can switch to the support tip. Here is your visibility. You could choose to see all, just the tip and the basis, the tips, tips and the middle, or the very contact point of the support tip. And this is what I set back to all. So this is for me to quick check the position of the contact point. And I can also do quick select to adjust them. If you want your support to look nice and organized like this, look at the support shelf and then go to support, click structure, snap grid on, grid interval 4 millimeter. And then if you don't want to overkill with your bracing here, you could go to the support bracing. Default bracing, click the gear button and then edit. This is my setting for the global size. You could copy them for the top, for the middle, and for the bottom. And then don't forget save and apply. Look at the manual tab here. For the support painting and inline support, this is the support painting. You could drag and it will generate support. Undo. And then for inline support, you could click and then hold shift and then left click. And then you will have a line of support. For the interval, there is no exact number because that depends on the orientation of your model. And you might want to play around with the size of the interval. But you could copy my number for your initial reference. Also in the manual support, you could adjust your support by using this advanced or click the space on your keyboard and you could adjust the entire placement and position of the support. You could drag them around, change the size, change the size, and then move the entire support. This is only available on Lychee Pro. And then for island detection, I always use accuracy real. It might take longer to detect the island, but it gives you the best island detection compared to the normal or fast. And for the proximity, always leave them at on. I have one support that I do not have the preset which is for the interior and for interior usually i would go to heavy support size and then change the tip diameter to 0 0.6 and then the base tip into 0 0.8 because they are for the interior and not meant to be removed i use to give them a quite big support tip and base tip size this way we could make our own infill using this interior support but with less material. I don't always use support rough because that is depends on the situation and for this exactly why I would use rough because there are plenty of accidental suction cup here but you don't need rough if your build plate is perforated but in this case because this is, will not be printed on 
perforated blue plate, which means I need rough to avoid this accidental suction cup. And then I will go to rough. I will click the shape wall. Thickness, I will choose 0 0.5. And I will give the wall. Look at the wall here. If you do not get rid of the wall, you are printing suction cup. Bigger suction cup. So the wall I will switch or change to zero. And then for the angle wall, I will also change to zero. So now I have a completely flat rough with no suction cup at all. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is my best support setting for Lychee. If you want to know when, where, how, and what support tip size and how I would decide to use them, you guys could watch my live stream. I will make a post announcing my live stream before I start the live stream several hours before. Or if you cannot join the live stream, you could watch the rerun videos in my channel. Thank you guys for watching and see you guys in the next video.